So I'll explain some word problems which are related to linear equations and how to solve any type of word problems are coming in this chapter. So we need to apply some methods. So first we should read the problem carefully and determine the quantity to be found. So what we need to find, what we need to find that we should find out first and assign some letter like X or A, T, any letter you can take that to the unknown quantity. Then using the given data we need to solve. Okay, let me show you a few examples here how to uh, use the methods step by step. Let's see with one question. So for example, this question is two numbers. Okay, two numbers are in the ratio uh, 3 is to 8. Two numbers are in the ratio 3 is to 8. If the sum of if the sum of the numbers is 165, okay, find the numbers. So see, this is the question is given. Now we need to apply main four important rules. Two numbers are in the ratio 3 is to 8. First, you should read the problem carefully and determine the quantity of font. We need to find like we need to find the numbers. So that is what we need to find out. Then 3 is to 8 are in numbers are in the ratio. So ratio is given. So we can let the required numbers. Let the required can take required numbers B because they are in the ratio 3 is to 8. So 3 times first number and 8 times the second number. So you can take the 3x and 8x. Okay, any ratio is given you can take. So respectively. Then so then condition. So assign the letters to be x. So it's over. Now using the given data we should formulate the linear equation variables. So here condition is sum of the numbers is 165 sum is nothing but addition. So addition of that numbers is 165. So that is from condition. So according to condition, so we can take the values 3x is one number and 8x is other number. That both if I add, it should be equal to 165. Okay, now this is the linear equation. Once uh, you can frame the linear equations, problem is easy to solve. Okay, 3x plus 8x is 11x is equals to 165 then divide by 11 both sides okay you can divide by 11 then you can x is equals to 165 by 11 that is 11 15 so 15 11 is 165 x is equal to 15 but we need to find out the numbers then numbers are I have taken 3x and 8x. So numbers is 1 is 3x and 1 is uh, 8x. Okay. But when you are taken 3x, x value you have to substitute and simplify. That is 3 into x is equals to 15. So 45 is one number and 8 into 15 and 120 is other number. You can do confirmation of checking also. 145 plus 120 is 165. So when the question is given, you need to understand and make. So let me show you a few more examples. It's for problems. Okay, for example, question is given. I am writing find. Uh, find two consecutive two numbers. Consecutive two odd numbers. Is such that two fifths, two fifth of uh, the small one, two fifth of the small one exceeds two ninths, two ninths of the larger by 4 then you need to find out the numbers okay 
So, for example, this is the question now. Yeah. So, let us see how to solve. First of all, find two consecutive odd numbers. So, we need to find out the two numbers. So, let required numbers, consecutive numbers, right? Consecutive odd numbers means there should be difference is two. So, consecutive odd numbers means if, for example, one number is x means next is x plus 2 because 2 we should add because difference is 2. So, I am taking let uh, required consecutive odd numbers. Consecutive two odd numbers. x comma x plus 2 okay one number is x means other number is x plus 2 because it's a odd numbers that to consecutive consecutive means side by side so if for example 5 is one odd number consecutive of 5 is uh, 7 7 consecutive is uh, 9 side ones x and x plus 2 because difference is 2 for odd numbers and now condition 2 fifth of the smaller exceeds 9 2 ninth of the larger by 4 so according to condition, according to the given condition or given data, if you observe, so easiest x plus 2 is the larger one. So 2 fifth of the smaller x is 2 ninth of the larger, 2 fifth of the smaller that means 2 by 5. So condition is very important in this problem. So any condition is given. Okay. 2 fifth that means 2 by 5 of the smaller smaller one is x 2 by 5 x okay. exceeds exceeds means minus you have to do remove exceed means remove this so subtraction minus 2 ninth so 2 by 9th of the larger larger one is x plus 2 plus by 4 so yes by means we can take the values for so 2 fifth of the smaller minus 2 ninth of the larger is nothing but 4 in the meaning of this. Fine. Yes. So linear equation formed. Now this linear equation we need to solve to get the value of x first. Then you can simplify. Okay. 2x uh, 9 and 5. 2x by 5 minus 2 by 9 into x plus 2. We can multiply this 2x plus 2 to the 4 and by 9 is equals to 4. And then we can take LCM 9 5 45 is LCM. Okay, 5 table and 45 is 9 and 9 2 is 18 x. Same how you solve the linear equations in previous uh, problems which I explained similarly can start and 5 into 2x plus 4 because 9 table 45 is 5 so 5 into this is equals to 4 then simplify 18x minus this is 10 5 2 is 10x minus 5 4 is 20 is equals to 45 if you take right side multiply 4 into 45 so remember 45 is denominator if you take shift to this side it will be sign change because division 45 is division become multiplication so 18x minus 10x is 8x minus 20 and 4 into 45 that is uh, 180 then 8x is equals to minus 20 transpose 180 plus 20 is 200 Therefore, x is equals to 200 by 8. Because 18 takes, you can take this side divided by 8. 200 by 8 is 25. Okay, x value is 25. If you know x value is 25, then our numbers are x and x plus 2. So 25 and plus 2, so 27. Therefore, required numbers are 25 and 27. So the condition is followed. The required numbers are 25 and 27. We can apply the conditions for this. And okay, so 
I will show you one more problem using how to understand the data. So I'll take one digit problem. So numbers, for example, sum of the digits. Some of the digits. Some of the digits of a two-digit number. Number is eight. So first statement is sum of the digits of a two-digit number is eight. Okay, there is a two-digit number. The sum is eight. If no conditions, if the number found by reversing the digits. Found by reversing reversing the digits is less than the original number. By eighteen, find the original number. So original number we need to find out. Yes. So we can observe this problem. Sum of digits of two digit number is eight. So there is a two digit number. For example, if I take eighty three, so eight plus three, or thirteen uh, one plus three. So the sum of the digits is eight. For example, if it is fifty three, five plus three is eight. But you should satisfy other condition also. And if you do reverse the digits, the difference should be if the number found by reversing the digits is less than the original number by eight. Okay. First, after understanding the question, we need to take let units digit is one letter. So I am taking H because two sum of the digits is eight. Let units place units digit. That means ones place. So let units digit b taking x, then sum is 18, then tens place is 8 minus x. Okay, then tens digit because sum is 8, then tens digit is equals to that is 8 minus x because sum is 8, right? So then tens is 8 minus x. This is according to the first statement we got information. Now, when you see the condition, then original number we can write. So here, how to see original number? For example, I'll show. When if you want to write 96, we can write tens place into 10 plus six place number in uh, ones place number into one. Okay, tens place number into tens digit. Nine is in tens place, so and six is in units place. Tens place number into ten plus units place number into one to get this ninety six. Similarly, tens place is eight minus x and units place is x. Therefore, the original number. So original number we can write like this. So original number is equals to ten into tens place tens digit is eight minus x. Ten into tens digit plus one into ones digit. So 10 into 8 minus x plus 1 is the original number now. Okay, if you simplify this, 10 into 8 is 80 minus 10x. 1 into x is x. So 80 minus 9x is the original number. So on reversing, for example, reverse number. On reversing means tens place, tens digit and units digit will be interchange. So okay, I'm writing reverse number. Then reverse number is 10 into units place, so that is x plus 1 into tens place, tens digit. That is 8 minus x. So this is reverse number, right? Then if we simplify this, 10x plus 8 minus x. So 10 minus 10x minus x is 9x plus 8. Okay. 
this is the original number this is the reverse number now if you see the condition the number found by reversing the digit reversing digit is less than the original number by 18 that means original number minus uh, reverse number is equal to 18 okay reversing the digits reversing this is less than original number so reversing digit only is less than original so original minus reverse is equal to 18 Original minus reverse. So then there is a condition. Original number is 80 minus 9x. Therefore, from condition 80 minus 9x is original number. From that reverse number, if I subtract, I should get 18. Okay, reverse number is 9x minus plus h. So this is the condition. So from given data, you must try this. So this is the important stuff. No, is a linear equation. So understood, right? On reversing the digits, e is less than the original number by 18. For example, 9 is less than 12 by 3. That means 12 minus 9 is equal to 3. Okay, this minus this is equal to 3. Similarly, original number minus uh, reverse number is equal to 18. Then simplify 80 minus 9x and this minus 9x minus 8 is equal to 18. And 9x minus 9x minus 9x is minus 18x. 80 minus 8 is plus 72 is equal to 18. Then apply transposing rule. 72 we can take our HS side. Minus 18x is equal to 18 minus 72. Okay. Then we can simplify. So minus 18x. So from 18, uh, 18 minus 72. Minus 72 is big number, so minus. Then we can simplify. That is, we get 54. So from 72, generally you can subtract 18. But which is a big number? 72 is a big number, so minus will come. 12 minus 8 is 4. So 54 will come directly. Minus 54. So we can to get the value of x, we should divide with minus 18 both sides. So minus 18 both sides you can cancel. Then x is equals to 18 3 so 54. So that is 3. Right. So x is equal to 3. But here x is nothing but Units place. Units place is 3 means tens place is 8 minus 3. That is 5. Okay. Units place is 3 and tens digit is 8 minus 3. That is equals to 5. Then required number. So required number is equals to tens digit and units is combined you can write now. So tens digit into 10 plus units digit into 1 that is 50 plus 3 so 53 obviously so 3 is the units and 5 is the tens place 53 is the required number then 53 so you can satisfy the conditions 5 plus 3 is 8 and 53 if you do reverse it will become 35 right because 53 is how much 35 is less reversing number is less than this by 18 so if you do this all the same 8 will come so any word problems you need to understand first clear, carefully and take some values and main thing is the data the, from given data how we are making this linear equation and after getting answers also you can simplify or you can verify whether the problem is right or wrong also you can check this okay there are more uh, examples I will show you so I am giving one link in description below right here so you can see this website name so if you click on that in class 8, you can find the worksheets and test papers. Many are available including the solutions. So you can go through that and subscribe the channel because we will upload only videos which are related to education.